Excuse me. Are you Miss Eiffel? Yes. Excellent. What are you doing? Research. Am I interrupting? Yes! My name is Penny Esther. I'm the assistant. The publisher's hired. Mm. The spy. The assistant. I provide the same services as the secretary. I don't need a secretary. Well, then I'll have to find some way to occupy my time. Now watch over me like a vulture so I don't get distracted. Is that why the publisher sent you because they think I have writer's block? Do you have writer's block? Are these pages? Her letters. Are you writing that? I don't have time to respond. Or I imagine you smoked all these cigarettes? No. They came already pre-smoked. Right. They mentioned you were funny. <laughs> What do you think about leaping off of the building? I do not think of leaping off the building. Oh, yes, you do? No, I try to think of nice things. Everybody thinks about leaping off of a building. Everyone! Well, I certainly do not think of leaping off buildings. You know, they say that, like, oh, you know, I actually read this fantastic, this fantastic, depressing book about when you jump to your death, it, it's really the impact that kills you. Well, I can't imagine that would help. <laughs> in, the, in the book, it was a photograph. Uh, in the LA Times about 40 years ago. I mean, it's old, but God, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's about a woman who jumps to her death. Mm -hmm. right and there, and there, it's like blood all around her head, like a halo. And then her legs are tucked <coughs> under her. And then her arms are snapped like a twig. But she looks so serene. It's like she said, and I think it's because when she fell, the wind hit her face. <sighs> oh, I don't know how to kill Harold Crick. That's why they have you here. Yes. That's why I'm here. To help you. Mm. Help me. And how are you supposed to help me, huh? You! You! Who don't even think about jumping off of a building! What, what insane, interesting things do you have to tell me? You, who's been an assistant their whole life, what? You have no avail on killing a man? I understand. But do you? I can't just... Hey, I have been an assistant for 11 years. I have helped 20 authors complete over 35 books. I have never missed a deadline. I have not lost a writer to blog for longer than three weeks. I will be available to you every second, of every day, every week until the final punctuation is embedded on the final page. I do not like loud music. I do not abide narcotics. And I will gladly and quietly help you kill Harold Crick. So where do we start? Same. Okay. <laughs> 